It's November 16th, 2017, and Elon Musk just unveiled what was to be hailed as the world's fastest production car ever made, the Tesla Roadster. The cherry red prototype became an automotive icon just hours after its debut, yet now, nearly four years later, not a single Roadster has been delivered to customers. What happened to potentially the greatest electric sports car ever made? Is Tesla still planning to sell a rocket-propelled hypercar? Or did the dream die out long ago? Find out in today's video. When it first rolled out on stage so very long ago, Tesla made it sound like the Roadster would be hitting streets very soon, as early as 2020 even. People have asked us for a long time, when are you gonna make a new Roadster? We are making it now. Yeah! Expecting this to be available in, in 2020. A lot of bold claims were made that night. This was the start of a new electric era that would make gasoline supercars look like a joke. Dr driving a gasoline sports car is gonna feel like a steam engine with a side of quiche. Sounds promising, right? Here's a few numbers to back that up. Tesla said the Roadster would be powered by a 200 kilowatt hour battery pack hooked up to a trio of electric motors. With one motor on the front axle and two on the rear, the Roadster would be an all-wheel drive powerhouse making 10,000 newton meters of torque. At the unveiling event in 2017, Musk announced it would be the world's first production car to breach 0-60 to 60 in less than 2 seconds, first to complete the quarter mile in less than 9 seconds, and would likely have a top speed somewhere in excess of 250 miles per hour. In comparison, the Bugatti Chiron costs $2.9 million and can only do 0-60 to 60 in around 2.3 seconds, which is nearly half a second slower than the Tesla at many times the cost. The, the point of doing this is to just give a hardcore smackdown to gasoline cars. Match those performance numbers with its equally stunning exterior and you've got one of the most tempting sports car packages in automotive history. Not as many details were announced regarding the exterior of Tesla's Roadster, but it looks like it was introduced with a removable glass hardtop that's stored in the trunk. The general design was simplistic and modern, with two sharp creases highlighting the hood and a massive rear diffuser to keep the car planted under hard acceleration and cornering. Tesla promised the interior would remain practical and usable even with the ridiculous performance. It had seating for four, a futuristic steering wheel, and a carbon fiber dash. Plenty of storage space was expected as well, since the low-mounted batteries left room for cargo in both the front and the rear. So it's a 2 plus 2, 2 plus 2, okay, you can't put giant people in the, in the rear seat, <laughs> but you will put, okay, a giant person squashed or a small, small person fit in the back. Um, so, but it's a four-seater, it's not like, it's, it's, this is four seats, um, it's uh, convertible, so it's a uh, removable roof. Um, it's, uh, and it has uh, tons of storage. So you'll be able to like, actually travel somewhere, bring, bring luggage, bring whatever you want, um, and have plenty of storage, carry four people. Like it's a real car, it's not just crammed in. Um, so it has all that functionality with four seats. But forget all the insane performance numbers, the comfortable interior, and even the futuristic exterior. Because the biggest selling point of Tesla's Roadster were the 10 individual rocket thrusters integrated seamlessly around the car. Yes, in addition to the massive amounts of instant torque from its electric motors, Musk claimed the Roadster would use literal rocket power to beat out the competition, saying, quote, These rocket engines dramatically improve acceleration, top speed, braking, and cornering. Maybe they will even allow a Tesla to fly. Coming from another brand, this might sound insane or like false hype, but Tesla has a long history of living up to their promises, and yes, we have seen flying cars from them before. Experts have speculated that the Roadster could make use of pressurized air and cold gas thrusters to propel the car in a rocket-like fashion, but this system would be complex, heavy, and frankly dangerous. Rather than deter enthusiasts, the doubts and theories have only fueled the fire of anticipation as to what Tesla has in the works. Musk's association with aerospace tech company SpaceX only sweetens the deal, building monumental expectation like no car we've ever seen before. But it's been years since all this was promised. What has Tesla been doing since then? When the Roadster was first unveiled on November 16th, the brand made it seem close to production, even taking passengers on test rides. When are you going to make a new Roadster? 
we are making it now. Well, that was three and a half years ago, and we still have yet to see a final production version, even now well after the slated start date. Is the Roadster still being made? To answer that question, I think all we have to do is look back at Tesla's history of product launches. They have a massive reputation for delaying production until well after the product launch. One example, the Model 3 took three years to hit the road after Musk announced it in the summer of 2014. With all their recent success, it's easy to forget that Tesla is still a relatively new brand and may have to work through some issues before they have a car ready for the showroom. It's also possible that the Roadster is taking longer than usual because the brand is focusing on other projects like the Cybertruck and the Semi. But don't worry, the Roadster is definitely still on its way. In January of 2021, Musk tweeted out a small update in response to questioning and said they would likely wrap up R&D this summer and begin deliveries in 2022. Later in May, Musk confirmed even more details about the SpaceX rocket thruster package, claiming 0-60 to 60 in as little as 1.1 seconds, and the ability for brief in-car flights. That's not a joke, the Tesla Roadster will literally be a flying car, with a unique hovering feature thanks to the thrusters. No doubt, even with all the delays, this came as a massive relief to the customers who put in a $50,000 deposit on the car. But they'll have to hurry, because the automotive world isn't waiting for them. Many of the records Tesla said the Roadster would set have already been taken in the time that it got delayed. Base model will do 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds. Okay. It'll, that, that is the fastest, this will be the first time that any car has broken two seconds at 0 to 60. While that claim was true three years ago, the two second mark has since been beaten by cars like the A Spark Owl, a 2,000 horsepower Japanese electric car that can do 60 in 1.7 seconds. If Tesla sports car doesn't hit showrooms soon, it may not have any records left to claim. So it turns out there was some cargo in the truck. There's some cargo in the truck. Uh, we thought we'd bring it out. Um, we, we started Tesla. We started Tesla with a sports car, Tesla Roadster. So that's that. That baby got us going. Uh, it's it's the it was the, the, the foundation of the whole company. It was the Tesla Roadster. People have asked us for a long time, when are you going to make a new Roadster? We are making it now. If you want to learn more about crazy fast supercars and even some affordable alternatives from all over the world, check out the playlist on the screen right now. And hey, thanks for watching all the way till the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button on your way out.